All right, James 1, 2, here we go. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials. So who's he talking to? He's talking to, he says, my brethren. So in this case here, that's people you're doing life with, you're fellowshipping with them, you're going to church with them. So he says, consider it all joy. So we should be happy when we encounter various trials. So this encounter word, think surrounded, like they're coming at you from all sides and we're supposed to consider this joy. So you can also think uh, getting mobbed by somebody. Think Good Samaritan in Luke 10.30. So he got mobbed by a bunch of folks, unable to fight back. But consider this joy when you encounter various trials. Now this word trials, it's more of a challenges. Um, it's tests. It's uh it's a uh, building character. It's building faith. These are things that you go through that build holiness. So the type of challenges that James is uh, hinting at here is like uh, if you're running a marathon and you come up to a hill. Well, this hill is really going to suck for 30, 40 seconds, a minute, however long it takes uh, to get up it. But after you get up that hill, especially if you're training, Wow, next time you hit a hill, you've already overcome this hill, you're ready for even bigger ones. You can also think math class, right? There's this nasty equation that we gotta learn how to solve or type of equation. And after we solve one of them, oh, now we're, now we're getting a little bit better. And the second one, even better. And by the third, fourth, fifth, 20th one there, now this style of equation or pr math problem, it's becoming a lot easier on us. And now we're ready for bigger and better things. Even a kindergartner learning their letters and that type of stuff. These are challenges they come up with. But on the other side, well, geez, it's really tricky for my kindergartner to learn how to read. But after they've crossed that hurdle, now they can read to learn and they can get so much more out of life. It's making us uh, better. These are challenges that are creating character, faith, and holiness in our lives. Again, James starts off with James 1.1 calling himself a tool of Jesus Christ, which means he wants to be used by Christ. He is being used by Christ. And how does Christ get us more useful? By putting challenges in our path for us to overcome. And not only that, but also to lean on him as we go through them. And that's what builds holiness and character and usefulness. And that's James 1.2.